This is what y'all saw from the Pujo 908 race at Mount Panorama or Bathurst. And, well, that was pretty cotton-picking spectacular. But I bet y'all are wondering how that happened. So I'll do my best to figure out how it did happen. As you can see there, Soy Delanus pretty much overtook the whole field there by his car literally jumping over one of the biggest pileups in Dirty and Darn Racing League history. So, I'll analyze how that happened and maybe figure out if that could ever happen again. I kind of doubt it, though, because that was pretty cotton-picking crazy. So, to start it off, as you can see here, Soy Delanus is at the tail end of this pack here. And he comes up to this turn while riding. He bumps ERU Fan 97 into Barrett 5, which actually spins ERU, ERU Fan 97 into the air, which is pretty cotton-picking cool in and of itself. But then, let's attempt to go frame by frame. As you can see there, JK Racing 20, here he comes from behind, giving Soy Delanus a puss, and well, he hits that pile up there and goes flying. So I guess a combination of JK Racing 20 Heary hitting Soy Delanus into the pileup caused him to fly over the pileup. So that was pretty cotton picking impressive nonetheless. But, well, one thing that y'all probably didn't notice at the time is, well, our contender has a pretty cotton picking lead. Or pretty cotton picking big lead. And, well... If y'all didn't notice how he got the lead, you might just figure he was already had a big lead, but, well, that wasn't the case. This is probably what y'all missed during possibly one of the wildest moments in Dirty Endurance Racing League history. So, also this as well. As you can see right yonder, our contender is in second place. He doesn't already have a big lead going into this turn, but, well, this is how he gets it. As you can see there, the top two getting a scuffle... So that helps him out. Somebody flies. That helps him out anymore. And that guy flies in to another guy in the wall there. And he pretty much just gets an open lane to pass. So, well, while Soy Delanus was flying over the whole field, our contender flew away. It's still faster to be on the ground in a car. And our contender's car stayed on the ground without really hitting anybody else's car. So he gets a pretty big lead right yonder. So, well, Soy Delanus definitely had the most memorable highlight, but really, it was our contender who had the best of luck. I hope you all enjoyed this, because this was something somewhat different for the Dirty and Nerd Tracing League. And if in a moment that crazy ever happens again, all sir as the blue blazes are blazing, whatever that cotton picking means, right yonder, do this again. Yeah.